the Turkish coup has failed. Where 1,563 soldiers were arrested and around 104 military personnel who took part in the coup were killed in the clashes. 90 others were also killed, including 41 pro-government police officers, two pro-government soldiers, and 47 civilians. Pro-government forces have seized control of the top military headquarter building, but there are still some groups of rebels who are still resisting, Turkish officials said earlier today. General Huluski Akar, who heads Turkey's armed forces, has been rescued from rebel captivity. He is the senior most military official in their hands. A faction of the Turkish military attempted to overthrow the government on Friday night, employing tanks and attack helicopters. The conspiracy appears to have failed. However, as they didn't manage to capture any senior government officials and couldn't win any wide support from the public or the Turkish military, they failed. The TRT state television and the Turkish branch of the CNN were seized and ceased broadcasting. The tide turned early on Saturday as rebels lost momentum and failed to win support. There are many reasons why this may have happened. There is a great deal of unrest in the country surrounding a lot of the policies Erdogan has been carrying out. One of them has been to ally with a lot of rebel groups, uh, carrying out, uh, aiding imperialism against other countries inside the region, something that is very, that seems to be unpopular among the Turkish people. And this would certainly build a great deal of opposition to his leadership. Including many incidences of violence against uh, Turkish insurgents and even uh, alleged assistance to ISIS in attacking Syria and other Arab neighbors. The coup is very likely linked to a security crisis. A series of terrorist attacks have signaled an inability of the government to maintain a stability, or at least to stop the attacks on Turkish soil. Now, this has angered uh, a big section of the security establishment who feels that they could do a better job because Erdogan is just playing politics with everything. But a lot of this has to do with the imperialist maneuvering that's going on in the region. Turkey is a U.S. ally and has been a U.S. ally for a long time. Thus, a lot of their maneuvers are aimed entirely towards supporting U.S. policy in the region. And this runs it very counter to the masses of people who live in that same region. So this kind of hostility towards Erdogan should not be completely surprising. But as of right now, we really don't know what the coup plotters were attempting, who they who they really were, or what it was they support. To simply say this was like some kind of righteous act, it's too early to tell. We don't know what the policies of these people are, or really even why they did it. We're going to have to wait until more information comes out before we can understand who was right and who was wrong in this situation.